Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in a new Watchdog Legion game from Ubisoft. First of all, we want to make sure that you optimize your windows properly. After that, I will show you a comparison between window, uh, DirectX 11 versus 12 and also uh, three different types of DLSS that you can use in the game and what can like what is the improvement that you can see when you're using it. Uh, and at the end, we will go inside of the game if for sure we're going to optimize the game. So first of all, make sure that your game mode, right game mode over, air, or over there in the search bar, make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. Uh, Xbox game bar off. And all those capture stuff, background recording off, recorded audio off. Uh, really important also, just remove all the overlay that you're using, like Discord overlay, NVIDIA, whatever overlay that you're currently using. Uh, it's If you have like problem with stuttering, mini lag, and you're losing FPS, uh, a lot of time it's because of your overlay, so make sure that you remove that. Another thing really important, Make sure that you have the latest uh, driver, uh, the latest, latest version of your driver, because Watchdog is a AAA game. So make sure that you have your, if you have Nvidia, AMD, or even Intel, if you're using an integrated video card, uh, make sure that uh, you have the latest driver. Uh, for uh, Nvidia, you'll probably gain between five to seven percent uh, in boost in your FPS when you update your driver. The last thing that you need to do, right GPU for the graphic setting. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You need the latest version of Windows, so Windows 10 version 2004. And also you need the latest version from NVIDIA. And I'm not sure if it's working right now for AMD, but uh, you need to check this at on. And after that, you need to restart your computer to make sure it's applied. If you want to know more about it, I have a dedicated video on what, what is this feature and what it's doing. But it's optimizing your computer. So now let's see uh, my testing. So I did two tests, first of all. The first test is everything at Ultra, and uh, I was using the API DirectX uh, 12. So I was doing 60, we can say 61 FPS average. I'm currently running a Ryzen 3900X and a RTX 20, 2070 uh, card. So I did the, yeah, 61. And with DirectX 11, I'm doing 64. So I will show after that the DLSS uh, test. But for sure, if you don't have DLSS and you have like an old computer and you want to play this game, go with DirectX 11. You will gain more FPS. The only weird part is I was getting more uh, more temper more heat uh, with DirectX 11. So for an example, when I did the benchmark with DirectX 12, my GPU was at like 70, 64, 65. And uh, with DirectX 11, I was like that 69, 70. So a bit weird, but uh, yeah, I was getting more FPS and the usage was the same. If you want to look at the DLSS, I did three different tests. The first one was balance. The second one was performance. And the third one was ultra performance. So balance, I did 78. So if I compare my DirectX uh, 12 here with TAA and aliasing and my DLSS at 78, this is a lot better. Uh, performance, I did 82. And ultra performance, I did 88. Honestly, ultra performance for me, it's not really worth it. Yeah, you're getting more FPS, but the image quality was not good. Performance, I saw a couple of weird stuff, a bit of like blurry part in the environment, but honestly, it's not that bad and it's running really well. So I recommend like something like uh, balance or performance, depending on how many FPS that you want to see. But honestly, uh, if I compare balance versus TAA, I didn't see a big difference in my image quality. It was pretty much the same. So I'm really impressed with the DLSS technology. So now let's go inside of the game. I will show you what parameter that we need to change. So first of all, display. Make sure that your video adapter, you have your video card over there because a lot of people are you playing on laptop and sometimes I don't know why, like they have a, an issue. They're using their GP, uh, the integrate video card, not their GPU. So make sure that you're seeing your GPU over there. Window mode, really important. Play full screen. You will lose FPS if you're using border, borderless and stuff like that. Window mode. Make sure that you're full screen. Resolution. Make sure that you're playing the resolution of your monitor. Don't like use some crazy upscaling with your uh, NVIDIA driver. 
Uh, monitor refresh rate, it reset because I changed it over there, but normally I just want to lock it with my uh, refresh rate on my monitor. For me, it's 144 Hertz. VSync at off. FPS limit, if you wanna, if you wanna limit it, you can do it, like put it at 144 FPS because you don't want to generate more FPS, but honestly, I can't really generate this right now in this game, so I just put it at, at off. Field of view, it has an impact, more if you're going a bit crazy, as you can see, CPU lo load over there, major, GPU lo load medium. I didn't do like a different testing because normally I like to play at 90. I saw my FPS was uh, lower. So that's why right now I just use the default version at 70. And now the quality part. So first of all, DirectX. This is where you will need to change your DirectX. So if you're playing on an old computer, uh, GPU is not uh, that is not compatible, for example, with the LSS and you're struggling with your FPS, go with DirectX uh, 11. It will help you. Geometry, first of all, go with I. Environment, this one, ultra to medium. You can gain like 6% in your FPS. I didn't see any, any difference between low and medium. I saw a difference in my image quality. It's, it's better in medium, but I didn't see an improvement when I was going at low for my FPS. So that's why I'm at medium over there. Texture resolution and texture filtering. Just look at your VRAM usage. So normally you need like 10 to 15% space over there. So don't go crazy. Don't go at 7,999. You will have like stuttering for sure if you're doing that. So make sure that you have like a nice uh, space over there. So uh, for an example, you have four gig of VRAM. You will probably need to go at medium. So it's pretty much uh, just look at your bar and follow the instruction. Shadows, this is pretty much the first parameter that you should change. So for an example, if you have like 54 FPS and you want 60, if you go ultra to low, I'm getting like 14% of improvement in my FPS. So it's crazy. Just like start with your shadow, test the shadow. And after that, you will probably, you can change like other parameter, but this one is the most important one. Headlight shadow, if I compare four car to off, I, I was getting like 45%, so another nice boost over there. Reflection is pretty much the second thing that you need to look at. Uh, also a huge impact, if I compare ultra to low, I'm getting 10 to 12% boost, so another huge uh, increase over there. Depth of field, I don't like this effect, so that's why I'm removing it. Same thing with motion blur, doesn't get you like more FPS, honestly. Uh, I remove also bloom. Bloom, I, I was getting like 2%. And ambient inclusion, you can gain 4 to 5% if you're removing it. But again, like don't remove everything. Just like start with shadow and reflection. Maybe go with like something like eye or medium. And same thing with uh, reflection. Go at medium. Look at your FPS. And you, if you're fine with it, don't change anything else. Uh, now, uh, the anti-aliasing. So I will just remove, first of all, the DLSS. So if you don't have DLSS, the only option that you will ch need to change is the post-process anti-aliasing over there. Honestly, go with FXAA. Uh, TAA and SMAA, I was losing 4 to 5%. And uh, FXAA, I'm losing like 1%. So not a huge deal. But for sure, if you have like an integrated video card, you will struggle to run maybe the anti-aliasing in this game. You will probably need to remove it. But uh, don't go too crazy right now with the anti-aliasing in this game. It's taking a lot of resources. Uh, Subsurface scattering, you can stay at high. I didn't see a difference between low and high in my FPS. Uh, ray tracing for sure you can <laughs> uh, activate it, but you will you lose a crazy amount of FPS. So I'm not using it right now. Maybe if I change my video card, we will see. Uh, the DLSS, this is the place that I was telling you that can give you a lot of FPS. You have five different options. Performance, quality, balance, ultra performance. Ultra performance for me, uh, the quality is not that great. So that's why I'm not using it. Quality, I was losing too much FPS. So like I said, balance or performance are the best solution. For me, I'm gonna use balance because I really like the image quality. So that's about it, guys. If you have like an HDR screen, you can activate it over there. For sure, you're gonna lose the FPS if you activate this. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you have any question about uh, the game or parameter or even your computer, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.